to Neon Trash, Cyberpunks, and Retro Nerds. I'm your host, Tommy the Hammer. It is Saturday night. I'm kicking it with BC, Dale, and Adam McDougley's. Per the usual, we are hanging out. It's BC's pick tonight, and boy, does he ever have a doozy. What you got, man? Well, to mix it up from my typical Asian movies, I'm going with French. Uh, I have Irreversible, directed by Gaspar No, starring Vincent Cassell. So, you know, pretty prominent people in the French movie industry. Uh, and this movie's pretty notorious for, well, a plethora of reasons, which we'll talk about after we watch it. But it's supposed to be hard to watch. Yeah, we are all really priming the pump to check this flick out. You know how I roll on Neon Trash? Check out the trailer, peep that shit while your eyes on the prize. When we get back, you'll know our opinion on uh, Gaspar Nose Indivisible. No? Irreversible. Oh, yeah. Alright, so this is definitely definitive Gaspar No. Like, this is everything that I've come to know, um, you know, of him as a director. You know, uh, cinematography, music, uh, hard subject matter, a narrative that just like, is like ripped out of a nightmare and put onto celluloid. That's what this movie is. This film is your trip, your descent into seedy madness. And it, you know, it kicks that fucking door open from the get go. And you are just thrusted face first into the dirt and crying. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, yeah. Of, right in the puddle, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> of the seediest parts of France humanly possible. And it's very reminiscent to I Stand Alone. And as we're watching it, BC over here tells me, oh, it has some of the characters, or at least some of the actors, from that film, and lo and behold, one of the main characters from I Stand Alone is in this film, and it segues into its own story. So I feel like, in a lot of ways, Gaspar Noe's movies are somehow linked together in the same universe, in the same sense of reality. The plot of this movie is that this guy's girlfriend gets raped and he gets revenge, and that's pretty much the plot, plot line. And it, it plays in reverse order. And so I remember at the beginning, you see the guy trying to get revenge, you know, for what happened to his girlfriend. And you kind of look at him and you're like, eh, you're being like irrational. I don't know if I would put myself in this situation. And then you see what happens to his girlfriend. And I think everyone can agree, like, without a doubt, like, they would all do exactly what he did. Absolutely. Or at least try to. Try yeah. to find someone to do get something. Get to the bottom of it. Right. Because, Act. I mean, yeah. I've seen a lot of brutal things in movies. Yeah. And yeah. I've, you know, I'd say equally as brutal as this, but this one, I don't know, I truly care about the characters and it feels much more real than a lot of the other ones I've seen. Sure. And so it's way harder to watch, but I think that makes it way more meaningful. I mean, uh, it defies so many cinematic traditions. I mean, right down to the credits, they do like this weird credit thing at the beginning that is, it's not how movies usually do their credits. I mean, it's not, totally not linear. Everything is in reverse, but like, of course you see that these events are irreversible, so to speak. <laughs> So, and that's what, you know, to sort of add to what Ben's, Ben said earlier about, you know, like, yeah, at the beginning you're just thrown at this crazy situation and it's, it's just like, whoa, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> and slowly you have to kind of step back in time and sort of piece everything together about how it got like this. And it's all about taking like a crazy situation and just kind of putting it in context to sort of getting you to understand, you know, 
what led to this. And I tell you, Gaspar No is very um, adept at showing people just at their worst, just <laughs> acting like, you know, just being shitty people, Scum just doing horrible things, you know. It's a wonderful uh, artistic <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> it's definitely uh, a well-created film. I enjoyed the shit out of it, and it's uh, pretty out there. So yeah, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but that's fine. <laughs> I've seen a lot, of, a lot of worse things in this one. A lot of worse is, things. It's, okay. it's definitely a great film to watch. You gotta ask yourself, are you ready to take this dark descent into the worst of humanity? And it's quite simply that. And I was telling Ben during the film that had the events unfolded in a linear mm. way, it would have changed the dynamic of the film entirely, making it exploitation which is not necessarily a bad thing, it just would rearrange how you're coming at this story. Very true. I gotta say that Irreversible gets a solid 8 out of 10. What about you, BC? Um, I agree. The first thing I thought about the very first time I watched this was about the structure. And, you know, a lot of critics of exploitation would be like, it's immoral. And the fact that he does this in reverse order kind of makes it, you know, a movie that's against rape and against revenge and against right. assault. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, if it would have ended with like the despair that you see at the beginning, we all would have left this movie feeling probably worse. But, sure. you know, it would have been a totally different movie. And yeah, I've seen, I think this is my third or fourth Gaspar No film, and this is my favorite of all of them. It's up there. Um, <laughs> I'm going with a solid eight and a half. Oh, wow. Dooglies! Yeah, this was, um, this was very unique. You know, it's, it's challenging, but I mean, it's challenging, I thought it in a good way. So um, I'm going to have to go with um, probably a seven and a half. Seven and a half. Oh, wow, okay. Dale, let us, man. What's your start count? Uh, I'm right up there with the rest of you guys. I think I'll give it a solid eight and a half. Nice. Wow, damn. This nice. is one of those rare movies where it pulls uh, extremism and art, art and uh, um, just darkness all together, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, it's a fantastic movie. If you've never seen Gaspar Noe's work, definitely check it out. This is a real good place to start. Mm -hmm. Excellent film, very multi-layered. to check out this flick, irres Irresistible. <laughs> I know we're really priming the pump to check so out this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, put that into that. Scene. <laughs> I know we're really. <laughs> okay, well, For some that. reason, I need that scene. All right. Rude, <laughs> rude, uh, <laughs> buddy. I know we're really. <laughs> All right. We're all really.